keep producing plants that we had last year was the spaghetti squash and I gave a few away and one plant usually grows anywhere from like 6 to 12 um, of the squashes on it but people a lot of people don't know how to use them so I'm going to show you a way that I cook them which is really delicious but there's other ways that you can cook them as well um, what I like to do is I like to bake them in the oven sometimes we stuff them as well and the other thing you can do is just when they're cooked you run the fork through the flesh and it comes away and it looks like spaghetti and you can have it in place of spaghetti so hence the name spaghetti squash but I'll show you how I'm going to bake these today I like to get a good sharp knife and I just cut them lengthways still good inside we probably got these off the tree in December January so they're a good six to seven months old so you just store them inside and make sure that the end of the when you pick them off the plant that you leave a little bit of the the stalk on there and just let that dry out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually scoop all these seeds out and save them because these are a beautiful heirloom spaghetti squash and I'll dry those seeds out and pass them on to other people You can see already in here that it's got a stringy consistency like spaghetti there so when it's cooked that it all becomes soft and it all becomes stringy like that I'll just scoop the rest of the seeds out They're all out. See how the flesh is all stringy in there? You can see how many seeds I've got out of that. That is a lot of seeds out of one. And just a little tip is always to save the seeds out of your best specimens because you know that if they've come from a healthy plant which has had really good produce on it, you know that they're going to grow next year and give you the best chance to give you a beautiful plant again for the following year. The next step with preparing the spaghetti squash is probably one of the most important out of all of them. You just sprinkle some good salt all over the spaghetti squash and you leave them for about half an hour to an hour they start to, the salt draws all the water out of the spaghetti squash and you can tip that off and then you don't get a soggy mess when you're cooking because if you were just to put this in the oven now and bake it, it actually cooks like it's almost steaming in water and it's the center of it gets really sloppy. So just put a fair bit of good salt on there and leave that for about half an hour to an hour. This has been sitting here with the salt on it for about half an hour and I'll just show you how much water has gathered in there. So tip that off. So if you were baking them, that would just turn into a big soggy mess in there without tipping that out. I'm gonna leave it for another half an hour and see how what how much more water gathers in there 
Okay, I'm back again. I had to go out. So this has been about another hour that I've left that. So a bit longer than I wanted to, but you can leave it for ages. It doesn't, there's, there's no, um, it doesn't degrade it at all. It just means that it'll leach off more water. So after I've poured all the water off, I've just got them sitting on a some baking paper on a tray to go in the oven and I'll give them a cook at, on a moderate heat for about 20 minutes and then I'll bring them back out again and I'll put some filling in them and some cheese on them and put them back in to finish them off. You may have seen in my last video how I talked about how I love to save seeds on anything that's really good that produces really well all well, these seeds here I'll be keeping so what I do is I just take as much of the the wet flesh off as I can and keep all those lovely seeds and what I do is the smaller ones because there's so many here you don't need to keep every one so the smaller ones and anything that's broken from where I've cut it I just put a side into there and I'll put that in the compost and then these I'll lay out, there's a broken one, put that aside, I'll lay them out on some tissue paper or a tea towel or something just outside under cover for them to dry out or you can leave them on your kitchen table and then they'll be ready to plant again and I'm never going to use all these so I always dry them for other people and give them to my family and friends or put them on the free food cart just so that other get people get an opportunity to grow these because the spaghetti squash are becoming really really popular now and these were a beautiful heirloom seed that I got a few years back from the diggers club so I know that they're a good variety just put the seeds I'll spread them out onto a piece of calico and I'm going to dry them on there sometimes when I dry the especially the smaller seeds like tomatoes on to paper they can get stuck on the paper and you can't they're really hard to separate and then you end up getting lots when you plant them so I try and just I'll come out tomorrow and I'll flip these over and I'll just keep turning them over until they dry and that way they dry nice and separately but if you don't have to separate them I just do it if I've got the time and I happen to be walking past it it just makes it easier at the end if you leave too much of the flesh on then sometimes they can mold up around the flesh that's left so try and get off as much as you can but you don't need to rinse them or anything like that because it just shrivels up and you're left with a really nice seed then. These have been cooking for about 25 minutes in a moderate oven. They're starting to soften up, but they're not completely cooked. So now I'm gonna add a stuffing to them and some cheese on top of them and put them back in the oven to finish them off. Before I stuff them, I'll just show you how they become stringy like pasta if that was cooked all the way through I could just run the fork through those and that would all string up like pasta and then you can use it in place of pasta if you can't have carbs or, or wheat or anything like that it's a really good substitute or it's just nice to have anyway anyway I'll stuff them now I've put the fillings into the spaghetti squash halves you can see there I've put in some leftover mince that I have in the fridge with some cheese and some spring onions and herbs out of the garden and in this one there's half mince and half chicken with cheese and the herbs on top so I'm just going to pop them in now until the cheese melts and browns and they should be cooked and ready to serve to eat yum I can't wait and here's the finished product, just fresh out of the oven, ready to eat. Don't they look delicious? So you can put different fillings in them. You can do a veggie filling. 
you don't have to put as much cheese on you can actually put in eggs you can put in bacon you can put in mushrooms any of the veggies that you've got in your garden so there you go there's a cooking idea for spaghetti squash you'll have to get some planted in your gardens in summer yum mm -hmm.